Let me show you how I edited this really cool narration video. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Jewel Tolentino from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so we recently made this video right here. You can see it on the timeline. I shortened the timeline so you can see everything all together. It is about a five minute narration video and it's of my business partner, Arit. She's the other half of Esatino. She wrote and narrated this video, and then I finished it off by editing and finalizing the video. Now, it's a new style of content that we are trying out in that it is a narration video, meaning it's mainly audio, and we're not actually in the video. You, you can't actually see us, but you do see other visual aspects. There's music, there's sounds, pictures, and it's like a motivational, and it's a motivational type video. This is something that Arit felt like she needed to write out originally as a post, but I said, why don't you do a narration video and I can add some cool video and effects to it. So here's what it looks like. I'm going to show the first minute of it. If you want to see the whole thing, I'll have a link to it in the description below. There is no question about it. Failure hurts. But it is also an invitation to clarify our values, actions, and relationships. In both business and our personal lives, failure is an invitation for wisdom, but only if we choose to listen. Hello, I'm Orit, and I'm co-founder of Esatino Media. As someone who was super shy and quiet growing up, with zero formal business education, and no intentions of broadcasting myself to the entire world through video content, if you told me I would go on to build a five-figure per month online business with my best friend, working for myself, co-hosting this YouTube channel, touring across Canada with my music, releasing several albums, I would have thought you were completely delusional. But after living this entrepreneurial journey for over a decade now, I can tell you with 100% certainty that it is not failure you should be fearing. The ultimate failure is living your life without failing at all. So what'd you think? Pretty cool, hey? It's a great message if you do end up watching the whole thing. It's like an emotional, motivational type video based on our experiences as entrepreneurs. So let me break this down for you. So you can see how it's laid out here on the timeline. And I'll show you like how I actually built this because it wasn't from track one, track two, track three, up to track six. So originally I started off with the audio, which is on track three. And this is what it was right here. This was just the raw audio that Arit recorded herself on in one take. And she was reading a script, this one right here. So she had already written this out in the exact way that she was going to speak it. So it's not written in a blog post way or anything like that. It's written the way you would actually read it with the pauses. So for example here, working for myself, co-hosting this YouTube channel. You see how I'm doing like pauses in between? It's not like working for myself, co-hosting this YouTube channel. Like a new line is basically a slight pause. So she wrote this all out, and this is five minutes here, and then she recorded it here in Camtasia only as the audio. No video was needed. You can technically remove the video if you do accidentally record audio and video. So you can see it's just the audio. So I started off with that. There wasn't much editing because she did it in one shot. As you can see, it's one whole long clip. I pretty much just edited the beginning part and then the end part. She pretty much read the entire thing perfectly. So I did add the noise removal on here. And you can see that I do have the emphasize feature because I have the background music. But I will say that I did end up getting the background visual first before I found the background music. So I heard her speaking and you know what this, the energy of this video and what it was going to be like. And so I found this 
swirling purple kind of smoke cloud ink paint type of thing. It's very soothing, it's very calming, and it's very visual to look at. I found this clip here on motionarray.com. I went to their videos tab, went to motion graphics. They've got a lot of cool pre-made stuff that you, you can use in your video projects. So if you are interested in getting some cool visual backgrounds, like look at this, this looks crazy right here. I'll probably want to use something like this. Head down to the description as I will have the link to sign up for Motion Array. Okay, back to the edit. So I got that and then all I basically did was duplicate it until the end of the video. As you can see, there's many of them. And in between each one, I had a a seamless transition. So what do I mean by seamless transition? So I didn't want to make it obvious that, you know, the clip of the, you know, purple ink is changing. So I added a transition and the transition was the fade, where it basically fades two clips back to back pretty seamlessly into each other. And because they're the same clip, when you see the fade, it looks like it's just continuously going. It's just continuously playing. And if you didn't have that, you would clearly see that there was like a cut of the two video clips put together. So that's the background. And then I went on artlist.io, which I've talked about many times, and I found the song for this video. I use Artlist for all my music when I'm editing. If you guys want to check that out, it's down in the description below. You can get two extra months for free. So that is this song right here. And I pretty much duplicated it. It's a very soft sounding song. I'll play a little bit of it. I didn't want it to be too crazy because she's speaking. It's kind of like, you know, a song of hope, right? because she is talking about failure, getting through it. And even now as I'm talking, it sounds like I'm about to do a motivational speech or something. So I found something super light to put on there. Once I had those two main elements, I could go in and do, which is probably the longest part, which is adding in the text. To save yourself some time, make sure that you have this already written out on text. It's not on paper. It's actually something that you can go in and copy and paste. So all I literally did was I went through and I had it like stretched out. I chose the, you know, black bar with the simple white text on it. And I just went through and whenever I would hear one sentence, I would go over here. Okay, the ultimate failure is living your life without failing at all. Highlight that, copy it, come back, and then paste it on here. And then I don't style it or anything. So what do I mean by styling it is I didn't add the bold or anything like that until the very end. Because what you want to do is you just want to get through pasting everything and pasting all of the text. To save time, I kind of batch each of the processes. So I just went through and I just added in the text and I didn't do very much styling for anything. Went through and did the entire song, just like as you see here. And then after I did that whole thing, then I went in and then I added things like the bolding, like right here, this word is bolded and I'm listening to it and I'm listening to it to see, you know, if I want to combine certain sentences or bold something or remove something, remove a line potentially. And that's what I did during that process. Then at the very end, I added the images. So here she's saying, hello, I'm Marit. And then she's sh talking about, you know, her as a kid. And then she's talking about how we started a business together. And then here's like when we hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. And then here's her touring on tour across Canada. And so I just went in and added pictures or video where appropriate. And then at the very end here, as she's saying the last line, I put the thumbnail, the YouTube thumbnail image here. 
So that's, you know, the making of this narration video. This video did take me longer than, you know, a typical tutorial video, but it's a unique type of content that we are wanting to push out more of. You know, it's, it's kind of like a form of storytelling. And, you know, after this video went out, we uploaded it to our Facebooks, Instagram, and we even sent it out to our email list. So we definitely repurposed the crap out of this video. So that is a breakdown of this narration video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.